Hello guys, good day everyone. So my name is Daniel and today basically I'll be teaching you the best forex trading strategy in Africa. So if I would say strategy that is as simple and stupid and profitable as this strategy. It's a killer. So I believe when you have this which mean it means the reasons why why I came up with this strategy is basically for beginner traders who are not actually familiar with the financial market and have been losing a lot. So this is the kind of easy way to make money like that no more stress you just have to follow some little things like that and you get things done so basically what the trading system does is so please before i start the video please give me a thumbs up like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates on trading systems like so i'll be dropping all our trading systems like this easy for but i think with this one i wouldn't have to do any trading system again because this is as profitable as it can be once you have the trading system, I can guarantee you. Uh, let me give you like um, 85% short rate. So 85% of your trades will be accurate. So once you follow the rules strictly as I have described. So please subscribe to my channel and I'll be dropping the description in the link. I'll be dropping my telegram group channel in the description below. So all you have to do is just follow and you'll get the templates. I'll drop the templates on my telegram channel and then you pick it from there. And you apply it and you begin to make profit so let's get started with the video so basically this trading system works with the stochastic oscillator and uh, what I call it in candle formation indicator where it shows you bullish and golfing all those candle formations that you can actually understand for many beginners we really don't know what to do you don't know what is bullish rami all those kiki 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 things that happen during that gives you entries at the at the point of reversals like that like when the market is reversing like let's use like here for example if you see this place for example there was a reverse there was about to be a reversal here in trend so yeah but the overall trend is actually a bullish trend we'll get to that later in some other classes whereby we're talking about the Elliott wave and other patterns like the one two three four five uh, other patterns like so basically i'll do the simple way on how to use this indicator so it's as simple as anything so for example now if you if you want to see an entry first of all you're definitely going to wait for your indicators to merge for example now if you get this pop-up this bullish engulfing let's use this bullish engulfing for example now get this bullish engulfing pop-up you are going to check with your oscillator to see if your oscillator is going towards the upside giving you a bullish trend already as you can see the oscillator has already given us a bullish indicator around here and bam 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 then this uh our candle formation indicator has also informed us that there's a bullish and coffee pattern here the bullish and coffee is when the next candle overshadows the previous candle yes both candle weeks and everything for more clarification yeah to be more clear on things it is better for it to cover the whole previous candle it will be better like that so now as you can see it has already covered the whole previous candle and yeah you see what happened the market went up it went up it went up so now we get a bearish cross as now that we're getting a bearish cross we should be looking towards making a downtrend yeah this chart is on the weekend i'm doing this video on the weekend so the financial market is closed and all that things like that so you won't be seeing trades and all those things and um, my dad is not actually on but yeah there's nothing that's happened so now when the when on, on monday this market opens i should be expecting to find a sale around here because look the stochastic has given us a sell already that the market is going down it has given us an indication that the market is going down the market has been overbought for some particular time and it's going down so now you look forward to the bear the candle formations uh indicator to give us a go signal so now it has given us a go signal that we should go up here so basically if i enter a trade here i'll put my stop loss around this point here my stop loss basically around this point yeah i'll basically put my stop loss around this point yeah but if you're using a broker that has wide spreads i would advise you put your stop loss a little bit higher yeah so that because the spreads margin and all those things can affect your trades even if the trade is accurate the spread can actually affect it because of how wide it is and it can hit your stop loss the spread itself major stop loss and you just end up 
losing money when you're supposed to be making money. So let's go back and see. Let's see, for example, now, yeah, it didn't give us an early signal here, but sure, after it gave us a signal here, you are just bullish. Yeah, yeah, the market drop, the market drop. So basically, once you get an entry like around this point, this is what you do. You basically put your stop loss somewhere around here. Like for me, if I'm to put my stop loss, I'll put my stop loss around here. Yeah, if I get this entry, because I look for key resistance and support levels to actually put my stop loss. NTP, for example, now, yeah, so after I've got in here, now, I can still put my TP around this level up here. So it's not bad. I will come here and put my normally I'll put my TP around this level. Yeah, because the key resistance point if you go back in history, the market to show that that place has actually been a key resistance point. So this trade is as simple as anything to use. You don't actually have to stretch yourself. Yeah, we need to see. Like I said earlier it was a key resistance point. It was a support previously and it later became a resistance point like that over time like that. So this is basically the easiest trade system you can actually get. So all your trades will not be accurate. It's forex, man. What do you expect? A holy grail? No, you ain't gonna get that here. So basically you're going to get a trading system that will give you more trades than losing trades. That's really what you get. So based on your account size, you can and our advice, keep it to risk management. Don't blow your account up in no one just because you're trying to make a thousand dollars a day. Don't use a hundred dollar account to open a zero point one lot size. Is that room too big? That's room too big. Talk more people that are using one standard lot size. That's that's extremely crazy. That's insane. You end up blowing your account. So yeah. For example, now okay, let's go back to the examples. Yeah. Come back here, around here. Yeah. That's giving us bullish and buffing, bullish and blah, 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 blah. That's giving us more than one confirmation around here. And look what the market did after. So you see, like our stochastic has actually given us an entry already. And look, it gave us, and look at what happened. Can you see the market went all the way up to this level? Yep, the market went all the way to all this. So if you actually say you only use the stochastic, I trust you, trust me, man. You're gonna lose a lot of money because look at it. it gave you a miracle it was so signal yeah blah 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 yeah it dropped yeah it gave you a buy you go you go you go you see just eat here and can sell again for example if you have flown this cell yeah you would have ended up bringing your account this place and this level you would have ended up bringing your account because it just dropped a little bit i don't even come if i would put my tip tp if i followed this trade and i actually put my tp on and it's really hitting and I just come back out and it just ends up hitting my stop loss you end up blowing your account so that is why we've come up with two indicators that will give you better entries yeah if you want sophisticated items like this i also do that if you want to learn yeah this is basically harmonics here yeah. you can see these are patterns that i've drawn out already on my chart i kept the screenshot i'm going to share with my group and my students like that we are expecting this level to get to this level before we see an entry and drop down like that yeah just like this one also we're expecting the chart to come down to this level from here it should come down to this level then yeah entry looking to enter the market put our stop loss around this level here but basically i won't just enter a trade i will first wait for the market to give me a small retracement up and a draw down then a continuation in the direction which i expect the market to go to before i enter a trade yeah then i'll put my tp1 actually my tp1 should be the retracement level so if you retrace up i'm expecting to drop down like that, that, that. sometimes the retracement might be longer than i expect and the draw down might be shorter so yeah anyhow i get it but basically that's what this is what i'm expecting here i put my tp1 tp2 tp3 tp4 tp5 you can also put a tp6 up here and you can put a tp10 whatever but i just prefer to get my list to cut out the market and close the day no one shows myself yeah so that's all so just be showing you on another chart again how it works and like you see on this chart market is already bearish here